Alors là, à Villereau, il y a plein de fantômes. Vous êtes euh, en vélo, vous voyez des pigeons, vous êtes en voiture, euh, voire vous, les, vous voyez des pigeons qui s'envolent, vous vous retournez, vous ne les voyez plus. Oui, on se dit, ils sont passés où Plus de pigeons Les chasseurs, il euh, y a des moments, ils font pan, pan, pan Et puis, il n'y a, a, a rien qui tombe. Alors, ils se demandaient ce qui arrive, il n'y a rien qui tombe. C'est une ombre, ils ont tiré sur une ombre. Incroyable je n'ai jamais vu ça, il règne un, un climat de, de peur. Villereau, c'est le Hitchcock de, du nord de la France. Bah, par, parle de ce que vous voulez, euh, de ce que tu Bon, veux, voilà, euh, alors, ça. voilà, moi je suis euh, le, pro, le futur premier adjoint euh, de Bernard Petit, qui se présente, et, et j'espère que bah, on va gagner les élections. Parce qu'il y en a marre de... Euh, ça fait trois mandats qu'il est maire et, ah ouais, ça, et, ça, et, ça, et ça ne bouge pas. Il hein. n'y a rien qui bouge. Hein. Ah, il va y avoir du changement. Hein. Ah, Bernard Oui, euh, oui. oui, oui ah, euh, c'est ça que je veux faire. Voilà, c'est ça. Euh, vraiment, on veut euh, tout changer. Et là. surtout baisser les retraites dans les... Comment Dans les maisons de repos. Payer moins pour les vieux. Welcome, Morgan. Sur l'appétit? Yes. Was that about right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh. Now, uh, I think we need to. It started with a short film that, was, that was received quite a few prizes. I mean, uh, a good bugger, for, ex for instance. I think we need to explain uh, in, in Sleepy Villeroux. Is it correct to call it a little bit sleepy? Sleepy? Oh. Well, <laughs> well uh, in its way, I mean, no one is coming usually. But uh, the inhabitants know how to create some fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And suddenly there's, there's uh, reports of a terror attack, but what was it really? Uh, no. It was just an inhabitant who heard pigeons hunt and uh, some Polish people fighting, so she <laughs> thought she heard Ala uh, Wakbar, but it was nothing. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it correct that you have inspi been inspired to a certain extent by, by self-fiction in French literature, like Edouard Louis and, and uh, Didier Ribon? Uh, I, say, I would say that we have quite close universe, at least. Like, we both come from, like, a uh, suffocated childhood world where we didn't feel like we chose to live there. Villereau is the village where my family is from. It's mostly people from my family in it. Uh, and I was going there every weekend, and otherwise in the week I was living in a place that was very similar to it. And uh, returning back to it, uh, making the choice to go back there, I felt that to tell the emotions of my childhood I couldn't do exactly like those writers, but uh, being like the main character of that story, uh, I thought it would be more truthful to my feelings of my childhood to choose as main characters a fictional cousin and my real dad, as the fictional cousin became a mirror to who I was in the past. And my dad, uh, I chose him to be the main character because When I went back to Virho, I saw that himself, he was taken by this question of feeling stuck in the family. And the film is really about how do you become your real own self in your family. Mm. So you're filming your own family, but it's neither fiction nor pure documentary. Yes. So where, in which category <laughs> would you put it, if you have to choose? Uh, I mean, we say hybrid, but we also sell it as a fiction because uh, you can definitely not say it's a documentary for this film. Um, and uh, in reality, the line between the fiction and the documentary is really hard to put. Um, and most of the time, the most absurd things that happen in the film are in reality real. Um, but making this film this way allowed us to have a lot of surprises, a lot of fun, and in the edit, go from something very dark to something very fun all the time. Mm. So it goes to show reality can be much more absurd 
than what you make up in your yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.